Hey guys, sorry I had to stop recording. I have some renovation ongoing. So here, wow and flutter. 3007 gears, 0.04%. Pretty good for this age. I believe that's a good result. I just uh, check it with you the frequency response playback frequency response specifically it was fine this deck is not ideal but at least it works pretty well so now type one recording i had to tune up bias for type one taped so it would be like uh, two or three o'clock because in opposite case it was not enough uh, adjustment for the metal tapes so let's see let me select levels okay minus 20 so it's source and tape good calibration so bias perfect levels perfect okay minus 20 let's do record white noise yeah see for this tape type i, I had to I tune up for metal and chrome tapes and in this case so you see uh, the bias on one channel for normal tape it gets higher and I, I tried multiple cases and I cannot change it. So it's uh, using a millivoltmeter, it's like two and a half decibel higher. Here I, in the program now, I see that it's about five decibel. It would not be sounding bad, specifically the owner uses mostly chrome and metal tapes. So let's see how other tapes will perform. Uh, let me see. So now let's switch to the chrome tape. The chrome tape, tuning bias, a little bit. Levels, you know, this tape levels off between left and right channel. Now, there's the final result. Not ideal. But I would say not pretty bad, like three decibel difference between left and right channel. It's not bad and it will record till 15 kilohertz. Okay, good. And now let's check metal tape. Type four. Now let me adjust parameters. So bias uh, levels mostly fine, and that's we recording on the metal tape. Uh, that's the best one I can do with this deck. You see, one channel is a little bit off, same as on chrome tape. I might play a little bit more with the bias between channels now when computer is connected. But uh, if I will, I was adjusting at 11 kilohertz here. You see, that's why they match precisely. And if we will adjust on 15 kilohertz, we will have a bump here. So I would prefer to leave it as is. That's the best option I can achieve with this deck. Uh, I tried multiple cases, so like 10 kilohertz. The recording azimuth is off, and this head don't have adjustments, so I would not touch it. Listen, so that's the best I can do. So probably that's the reason when like I acts differently on different frequencies. I'm already spent like five days with this deck. It's it's quite a lot. I replaced the light, so you see now we have a light LED. And it's records in place, like uh, when you listen to it, it's, it's just one-to-one. -one. Okay, 
I hope no one did such kind of measurements or at least shared these measurements from their Sony 777 DeX. Specifically, this is the first generation. It's most used one. Like uh, all these DeX are uh, been released in 1981, 1983, and they, that was the, the best time for cassette players. So everybody loves them from the quality perspective. Okay, that would be it. So concluding that this deck is not perfect, but it's very good. So sound wise uh, on the headphones, uh, it sounds uh, pretty linear. So let's check on the speakers and see if it can confirm my thoughts. I believe it will be recording and playing really, really fine. See you and bye-bye.